In the last session, we talked about how to draft a problem statement. Whereby, for this particular model here, we drafted this particular problem statement, in which we first added our independent variables that are impacting the dependent variables through the mediating variables, and then we discussed or wrote about the moderating variable and then the area of our research. Now, once you have written the problem statement and it is describing in a concise, comprehensive manner your overall problem or overall model that you are going to assess in your study. The next step is to transform this problem statement into research objectives and research questions. Now, your research objectives and your research questions are actually extracted from the problem statement. How? Let me give you a few examples from this particular problem statement. So, my first objective to assess the impact of green marketing on task related environmental performance. Now, what I've done is I've extracted one research objective from this particular problem statement. I've added the green marketing practices and its relationship with task related environmental performance. Similarly, I'm going to add other objectives as well. Let's do the second one. So let's copy this and paste it here. And what was my second exogenous variable or independent variable? Let's say HR practices. Now, if you look here, this is your second objective. And similarly, you are going to draft all the research objectives. Now, what you are actually doing is you are representing the relationships that you want to assess in this model in the form of research objectives. So, each of the relationship that you've got here, you can present it in the form of objectives. Now, you can have main objectives and then you can have sub objectives as well. Let's say my main objectives could be green mindset mediates the relationship between green marketing practices and task related environmental performance. Now, for this particular main objective, my sub objectives could be the relationship between green marketing and a green mindset. Green mindset and task related environmental performance. So, this one objective whereby I am looking at the indirect impact of green marketing on task related environmental performance through green mindset will be further divided into one, two, three sub objectives. The main objective is to look at the mediating role of this particular variable. Now let's add the mediation objective for now. So how will we write our main objective? S again. Now your verbs in your objective should be outcome oriented, not procedural. So you can simply type in Google and look at action verbs, outcome oriented verbs that's preferred, let's say, to ascertain the mediating role of green mindset on the relationship between green HR practices and task related environmental practices. Now this particular objective here can be divided further into two or three sub objectives. Now what are the sub objectives in this case? The first one, to assess the impact of, so what is your IV? Green HR practices on green mindset. Setting the impact of green mindset on task 
related environmental practices. And similarly, you can have the direct impact as well. Find the impact of green HR practices on it. Yeah. So if your model is complex like this, with too many mediators, you can have main objectives and then you can divide it into sub-objectives as well. Or otherwise, you can just have your main objectives. Now, how do I change these objectives into research questions? Let's say I want to change this one here. Yeah. So how do I do this? Whether it has to be in question form, whether green marketing practices influence, let's say, task related environmental performance. The other way could be, let's say, it could be this. Is there an impact of clean HR practices on task related environmental performance? Now, what you have done is you have simply changed your research objectives in the form of question. So, once you answer your questions, your objectives are achieved. And once your objective are, objectives are achieved, your problem is solved. Similarly, you can have main research questions and then sub-questions as well. Again, this is what I prefer to do. This is what I normally do in my research. I may follow a particular school of thought in research. Your supervisor or your coach in your university might differ with my opinion. You should finally go with what your supervisor acknowledges in the form of research or what he thinks or she thinks is better when writing your research study. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to write research objectives and research questions based on your problem statement that is based on this particular model. Thank you very much.